In this video, we'll look at how a well-designed and well-formatted proposal helps you land better clients every time. In order to send an interested client a great proposal, you first need to have a conversation with them. This initial conversation, also called a discovery call, is important for a number of reasons. First, you need to know the best way to communicate with each other. For example, are they well-versed in design lingo or do they have no idea and only know they need a designer? Here are some questions to ask during the discovery call. What does your company do? Why do you offer what you offer? How is your company different from the competition? Who are your clients? What kind of website do you need? How soon do you need it? What does your budget look like? Is the content ready? And do you have a brand style guide? The answers to all these questions are golden. You can't put together a proposal or even start work without a discovery call. A positive call is always great, but remember that nothing is set in stone until they accept your proposal and sign the contract. Do not start working until all that has been taken care of. After the discovery call, it's time to get to know the client's industry. If you have previously worked in that industry or similar, you can skip this step. If not, then you need to do some research online. Look for competitors, check out similar products and services, take notes on the lingo and vocabulary. Get a feel for the industry before starting your proposal. The last thing before starting the proposal is to calculate how long it will take you to prepare what they are expecting of you. Take into account what they told you about their budget, but don't let that limit you. If your work is worth more than what they have available, don't underprice your services. The point of a well-designed proposal is that they will pay what you are worth even if their initial budget is below it. Now it's time to put together your design proposal. The main idea when creating a successful design proposal is to showcase your creativity, your personal style, brand, and uniqueness. When the client sees the proposal, they must feel inspired first by how good it looks. After that, they must feel heard and connected. That's why it's important to listen to everything they say in that discovery call and to take notes. Let's take a look at the most important points to consider when creating the proposal. Generally speaking, a proposal is in letter format, but that doesn't mean it's a rule set in stone. Your proposal can be a horizontal presentation, a scrollable infographic, or something else entirely. As long as it looks good and is easy to understand, then your only limit is your creativity. When designing the proposal, stay true to your brand and style. Use the same language you use on your website, include any brand visuals like logos or illustrations. Now let's break down the format. Number one, the introduction, which includes a cover page, a presentation letter, and a table of contents of the full proposal. Number two, what you offer. The client might have contacted you for web design, but you should let them know that you also have graphic design experience, or if you offer motion graphics, just a nice little list will do. Number three, your story. In this section, present yourself and your team if you have one. Show off your strengths without exaggerating. Be honest and candid. Number four, give a price. Now it's time to give them the price for what they need. Give one sum, but separate it into chunks. Be broad in your categorization. You don't want them picking at your budget to save a few bucks here and there. Give an honest explanation as to why your prices are what they are. Number five, propose a timeline, one that you are sure you can commit to. Take into account what they told you about their own timeline. If you're fully booked for a month and won't be able to work with them until next month, Explain why you're worth the wait. Number six, another price list. Make sure to include other services you can offer in a nice list that explains why they might need those services. For example, monthly update reviews, website changes by the hour, etc. Number seven, give proof of your worth. Show tidbits of your portfolio as case studies and testimonials. Make your work look amazing with professional mockups. Include some links, but check on them first to see if your design hasn't been changed. And finally, number eight, say thanks. Any final page saying thank you for their time. This last page is common in pitch decks. Why shouldn't it be in proposals too? Now you can send your proposal to the client with an easy to access link. Deliver the link in a quick email with a short and simple subject line that catches their attention. In the message, thank the client for their consideration and give any instructions as to how to download the proposal or view it online. Once you've created one proposal, you can reuse the format for another client. You can even use sections again, like the proof of worth section, what you do and the additional price list. The second proposal and onwards will be faster and easier to create than the first. Be sure to always double check that you haven't left any traces of a previous client when reusing the proposal. And there you go. You now know what to do to land your next client with a well-designed proposal. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.